If you want to animate any character, then this video is for you. Because with this new tool, animation is now easier and faster. The reason this is awesome is not the animation or the mocap itself, it's the plugin. First, you have access to all of your animations inside Blender. You can download as many of them as you want in seconds. You can retarget them to any custom character. And finally, one last secret button that is a lifesaver in blending animations which we'll show you at the end of this video. If you're one who always use Mixamo but always thought to yourself, why they do not update those animations? Well, you're not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. I because the guys behind Heat thought about the same thing. That's why they created their own version of Mixamo but with a cool little plugin that makes it even better. In this video, we are gonna give you a tour of the Heat website and also give you a tutorial of how to use the Blender plugin. Let's go now. We have three options to choose from the moment we get into the website. We have the dashboard, the tools, and the explore. We're gonna start out with explore because this is where you find the library of mocaps. Look at all of them, oh my God. Much like Re Illusion, much like Mixamo, you have all of the animations that the Heat guys have uploaded right here. And they have a whole range of animations and the way you can tell is by looking at the tags, which are categories. Okay, let's start with the double kick. Double kick? Wait, yeah, that double reminds kick. me of Taken. Right, Hawarang? Yes, oof. Ooh, double, double kick, that's yeah. the thing. But once you've confirmed the animation that you like, you can go ahead and buy your animation. So here we can buy with Heat credits. You can see this is 15 Heat credits. What is the conversion? 10 credits is $1. And just looking at the range of animations here, they start from 15 credits and go all the way up to 50 credits. That so means- $1.5 to $50, uh, $5. $5, oh. yes, so- I'm one point, their math. Yeah, yeah clearly. <laughs> So what oh, we have 60. Oh, we have 60. So, $60. Okay, so if you want to buy credits, like I said, $10 is 100 credits. But there's a subscription model. So the more you buy, of course, you can get more credits. I think the best subscription model is something like Netflix or if you're going to the gym where you can pay a monthly fee and be guaranteed unlimited access to the facilities. So if I know I can pay 20 bucks, for example, and get unlimited access to animation mocap, I'm definitely subscribing. Everybody who is a 3D artist, even if they're just starting out, will pay 20 bucks or 15 bucks to get unlimited access to mocap. But when it comes to buying mocap, let's say per animation, if I'm in a pinch and I need to buy an animation, I will pay $2 or $3. I don't mind if I need to save my time. Oh, I've seen you in desperate times. You will pay more than that. Exactly. I know that because there's so many artists who are just starting out and for them to justify $6 or $10 for just one part of their entire cinematic video doesn't make sense. I'll talk to the Heat guys. You guys can comment. They're open for feedback. They've been telling us time and time again. All right, let's pause for a second. So this video is not sponsored in any way, but at the time of editing this video, we realized that if you want to test out the system, you probably need some Heat credits. So we talked to the Heat guys. They were cool enough to create a dedicated link for the Bad Decisions family. So you guys can go to the bottom in the description and check out that link, sign up, you get 500 heat credits to begin and test out the system. That way you'll realize if you like it or not. Let's continue. Do you know what's coming up next? We are gonna try how we can export these animations to different platforms. So this video is specifically for Blender, but they also have different, different platforms that you can export to. Unreal Engine, Unity, and 3JS. We'll cover Unreal after the Blender video. Unity, not really because we don't use Unity, but you guys know that you can export Unity. 3JS is really cool. So 3JS is used for 3D websites. I don't even know how this is gonna work out. It's coming soon, but once it does, we'll probably make a video about that. But today is all about Blender. And actually, if you guys watch the intro of this video, we showed you guys why this plugin that the heat guys have developed is so cool let's check it out first you want to show them how to download the plugin so you actually, actually why not? click on blender if you actually it. if you click on blender it'll, it'll open a documentation uh for you to know how to install the the plugin and how to use it which we're going to teach you in this video and if you want to install the plugin all you have to do is just click on blender down here it will be a zip file right it'll be a zip file and then you just install it as an add-on we have a video for you guys so we're going to show you guys now if you open blender this is where the magic happens delete your the default cube always kill it if you don't kill it something wrong with you now, once you have the add-on installed, you just hit N and it pops on the right corner right here in Heat Tools. What's really cool and what I had not seen in any other plugin 
is you can now go ahead and directly fetch all of your heat animations that you have purchased. All the six that we had on our dashboard, yeah. it automatically synced with Blender. Fire, can you choose another animation? Let's do the back sleep. We'll buy this. Can you buy another one that is walking? Casual jog. So casual jog, we're just gonna yeah. get this. And then let's get another one. We type a lot. This is a common animation. Fetch heat animations. Because we have connected our API. Ooh, all of them are here. All of them are here right now. Typing while standing, there you double go. kick. And now if you want to bring it in, it's literally as simple as just clicking one. So let's do silly walk, which Farad has bought before and hitting download. And just like that, in a matter of few seconds, you will have the heat mannequin plus the animation. So if you just hit space, you're gonna see oh. the animation play. So if I wanna bring in another heat armature, I'm just gonna hit import armature plus mesh. This is the character, so I'm gonna select it and I wanna do drum kit here. Let's say you wanna have multiple of these heat characters to check the animations, right? Dude, and this, this is working this at the looks same time. so wrong. Oh my fucking God, every Why single does time. Why does it wrong? What oh, 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 okay, okay, shut up. Shut up, we have kids watching this okay, freaking right. video, man. But now, Let's bring our own character. The workflow here is super simple. If you know how to rig your character using Mixamo, which I'm sure a lot of people have done before, it's as simple as putting your character in a T-pose in Mixamo and attaching an armature to it. The guides and Heat have created a retargeting tool that you can use to transfer the animation of a Heat character to a Mixamo rig character. So this is just another character. I'm just gonna hide this so you guys can see it that we have from Mixamo right here. Make sure it's in T-Pose. So what I have to do is literally simply just click source and choose this armature. Armature, armature two, two. Target, armature, armature three. three. Build boneless, it should automatically build a boneless. Now we are going to check and make sure if the boneless is correct. The spine should be spine and spine one should be spine one. Just making sure if there's any mistakes. The first time we tried this, the upper arm was not directed towards the left arm of the Mixamo. So it so, was looking empty exactly like this. What yes. we need manually be added left arm. There you go. Make sure you do the same with the right arm too. Exactly, so right arm wasn't here for the upper arm. So make sure you type that in. And this might slightly differ for you guys. So in case you don't have the correct animation after you retarget, make sure you have the correct bone list. This is the bone list you should have. Now, it's literally as simple as retargeting animation. You ready? Boom. Ooh. If by this point your retargeting doesn't work correctly and your arms are like this, then it's probably because the rest pose of your character is still in another position other than the T pose. It's probably in an A pose or something else. And if that's the case, you need to get your rest pose to be a T pose as well. And if you follow the video after this, you'll learn how to do that. First in object mode, select the body of your character, then go to the wrench and find the armature. Duplicate it, now go ahead and apply the first one. Then let's go ahead and highlight the armature of your character and go to pose mode. Then you wanna apply this as the rest pose. And that's it. Okay, now I have a challenge for you. What is that? Can we mix two animation? Can we do it? Are you ready for it? Can we do it? Okay, so this is the part that we showed you guys in the intro. This is the game changer for heat plugin. If you've ever used Mixamo and you try to merge two animations together, because they usually start at the origin point of your scene, when you mix a walking animation and a sitting animation, so at the back. end of the walking animation, it'll go back and sit down. And we don't want that. So the guys at Heat hated that as well. And so they developed this single button that will merge animations together and allow you to mix them flawlessly. And that's what we're gonna demonstrate right now. So I'm gonna bring in a new armature and mesh because I want it to be in the middle of the scene. I'm gonna download a character animation. So this is our first animation on the character. So now we're gonna add another animation on this character. It's gonna walk, 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 and walk, talk, walk, walk. But if you download another animation right now, it it's just going to it, replace yeah. this animation. So in order to stop that from happening, we're gonna open another tab right here. We're gonna go to our NLA editor and we're gonna push down our first animation. By pushing this down, we allow space to open up for the next animation. Let's try the drum kit. Download, boom. So now the drum kit is going to add another layer right here. As you can see, the drum kit layer is added and now that's the active one because it's on top. So we're just gonna drag the drum kit out here. Let's blend out the animation, the last part of it, so that it, it, it yeah. sinks in together. 
So blend out the animation. So right now we should only still see the heat drum because it is on top. I'm gonna bring this to the top, track ordering to the top. And now we should be able to see the walking and you should see it go back and sit down and play the drums, okay. right? So this is what usually would happen. But the guys have created this magical button. If you select both NLA tracks and click sync bone positions, it is going to magically make the character sit awake oh! and not go back. Did you see that? That was fucking crazy. <laughs> Let's play, play it again from the game. Such a simple thing. And you would think this wouldn't be something that makes animators so happy, but it, it kind of does, doesn't it? Look at that. Boom. <laughs> play with the blend. Make it both blend it more. more. Boom. Oh. The next step should be taking this blended animations yeah. into the new character. Yes. And non-hit character. Yeah. And now we want to retarget these two animations to our ninja character, right? Okay, so armature seven, which is not there for some reason. Oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. For us to be able to retarget the animation, the animation needs to be baked. And there's also another option for that. So we're going to click this too. Quick bake. Quick bake. So in order to bring these both animations, we're going to bake it. Again, another thing they added themselves, so you don't have to do anything. Now it's baked. This is... Oh yeah, Armature 7 Armature is 7 back. is back. Now to Armature 8. Armature 8. Build mode list. Let's check. Make sure everything is right. It's everything correct. is correct. We're talking Retarget. animation. Let's see, let's see if our ninja can play drums. And if this works, this is going to be the best thing ever. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's something wrong with our retarget. At this point, we realized we kind of messed up. For the animation to retarget correctly, you only need the baked layer, which means the two NLA tracks that were used to combine and bake another layer, you don't need those two anymore. So go ahead and delete them and then just keep your baked track. Let's continue. So we're gonna go ahead and bake this. Okay, okay. it's already baked. So we can go ahead and delete these two animations right here because we don't need them anymore. Okay, and now we're gonna bring in our custom character. So this is the little girl from the source to the target, build boneless. Let's go ahead and retarget the animation and... Boom! Ooh. Dude! Ooh, wow, hide the, hide the heat. Dude, wow. look at that! And so they, they have to sit down and play the drums. They have to sit down and eventually play the drums. They have to sit down and play the drums. Check this out. Oh, this is dude. This is miraculous. Okay, oh. this was super duper cool. Okay, so now you guys learn how to animate your characters in Blender. But what we are most excited about is the Unreal Engine plugin. Why we are excited about that? Well, because with the Unreal Engine plugin, you get to bring all of your animations just like you did in Blend. Are you gonna do that? <laughs> did you do the same yeah. thing? <laughs> You're gonna be able to bring all of the animations into Unreal just like you did in Blender, but you'll see all of your meta humans there too, and you can just drag and drop them in the scene. This is probably the fastest way you can animate meta humans. We just saw a demo, it looked really cool, we can't wait to try it out, but once it's out, you know the bad decisions we're making a tutorial. So if you guys subscribe to it. If you guys subscribe. Do you haven't subscribed yet? I don't think so. You haven't subscribed yet? Bro, what Go the? Go do it. Go Dude, do come it. on, what do the? It.